Hey everybody, this is Agent Ice, I'm back. With Sonic Generate, er, <coughs> excuse me, Sonic Origin. That was last week. So, <clears throat> today I think I'm going to play Mirror Mode again, because I kind of like playing the game in reverse. It just adds a little bit of variety to it. And, yeah, we're going to play as Knuckles. I don't really see... I just don't see people play as Knuckles. I don't know if people don't like Knuckles, or... What? I see plenty of Sonic players. I know speedy run people, they love Tails. They'll get Tails out all the time. But Knuckles gets no love. No love for the Red Echidna. So we're gonna play him. Uh-oh. Oh, somebody set us up the bomb. So you'll notice Probably occasionally I'm going to be looking off to the right. Very hard sometimes during the day to not get distracted. Usually when I stream during the week, my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's later in the day and I don't have as many visitors as I do right now. <laughs> but right now where I'm at, it's like, yeah, it's 1.30, almost 1.40. So for those of you who don't know, I have a bird feeder outside my window here, and these... They're always flying in and out, so I always catch something out of the corner of my eye, and of course my natural reaction is to turn and look and see, you know, what the fast-moving object is. I already know what it is, but, you know, <laughs> it's still kind of a reaction to look at it. And occasionally, too, you'll hear these guys, because... Not only do I leave bird seed out for them, sometimes I'll throw out peanuts. And there are a lot of species of birds who love peanuts, apparently. So these guys, they'll land on my railing right outside my window, and they will beg for food. They will. And if you hear a bird, it sounds like it's close, that's probably where they're at. They're either sitting in the feeder or they're on the railing out there right by my feeder, uh, <laughs> begging for a peanut. My Blue Jays are particularly bad for doing that, but I've got woodpeckers that do the same thing to me. But, you know what, I don't mind it. They're, they're a joy to have around, and I like watching them. Here's our little teaser cutscene actually on that note. There's no two ways about it. They don't know how good they have it, so they don't. Sometime I'd like to almost maybe come streaming on the weekend like this, which I don't normally do, but if I do it again during the day, maybe have, instead of the camera being focused on me, maybe have it pointed out the window. Do a bit of bird watching while we defeat Robotnik. I don't know if people would be into that or not, though. But yeah, by far, Sonic 3 Knuckles has to be my favorite 2D Sonic game. 
You see, you hear that? That was that was one of these guys. Yes. And I throw that peanut out the window, and they're just like, whoosh! They just like swoop it and grab it. They don't even land on the ground. Sometimes they come close to catching it in the air. It's really crazy. It is really crazy. I don't want to be down here, gosh darn it. What am I doing? I don't norm. What? Knuckles, what are you stuck on? Oh, wow. Okay, that piece of ground there. Now, of course, the one downside, major downside anyway, to Knuckles is the fact that he just he doesn't quite jump that high. I think that's one reason why some people might not prefer to play him. But other than that, he's perfectly fine. Oh my gosh. We can't go up here though. This is where Sonic and Tails go. You can get up there though, I think, if you have Hyper Knuckles, but well, <laughs> we pretty much have to beat the game to have that and be back here. No, you missled me. I'm not even sure where the goodies are for Knuckles. That's okay, we'll get by. I don't think he's really got any bonus rings in his little area here. Which kind of sucks, because it puts you behind when trying to get all your emeralds. Probably won't be until Marble Garden that I get all of those. And I usually try to get them all by the end of Hydro City. Sometimes that doesn't happen because various reasons, but I usually do try to. Oh, okay, cool. It's still counted, even though I landed, it's still counted as me gliding, so it knocked that little spiky ball and shot at me away. That's fantastic. Whoa, I almost kissed that set of spikes there. Like I said, I don't know. I just don't normally see people play as Knuckles, and I don't understand why. He's one of my favorite characters. Okay, I'll we'll just go through this little thing, and... like how you can glide and slide on the ground and hit stuff. I know I'm kind of poking around. I'm not really trying to do this quickly, necessarily. I like that, like, the little animation. You just, like, slide in there so, so long. It's fun to do that. I admit it, I goofed. Wow, I was hoping I could bounce up there and hit that little dude, but it didn't turn out the way that I wanted it to. Let's do the knuckles slide. Uh, we got rid of the bridge. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. No, are you kidding me? I think this is how the day is gonna go. I think that's how- I think that is- Usually the first act sets the tone for the rest of the playthrough. Or first zone, I should say. This is technically the second act. Um, but usually that sets the tone for the rest of the playthrough. So this might be a little bit on the, uh... Crazy side here. Might be a little bit on the old crazy side. We'll see. No. I just need you to. There we go. See, that wasn't so bad. I can't believe I died on that boss. It's so bad. So bad. And of course, Knuckles just jumps off on his own accord there. I don't want to miss something. Ah, uh, I still did it. Gosh darn it. Eh, oh, whatever. It is what it is. Just gotta roll with it, you know? Sometimes you just gotta roll with it. to grab me. I want to go down here. There we go. It's like, I gotta get at least one emerald here. This knuckles is hurting for him. You get him a lot quicker with Tails and Sonic if you're hitting all the rings. And there we go, we just got another emerald. So we got three down, four more to go. We'll get there. We'll get there. Definitely by the end of the game. Might be able to... Yeah, if you time things right, you can get a free hit on that, dude. Oh my gosh. Whatever, I'll just do it like this. No, it's not. I wanted to do that. I didn't quite get the angle right.
I will say this, for anyone who hasn't checked the oscilloscope decompositions for the music for this game, oh, you really ought to. Some of them are really cool, and this level is one of them. There's so much going on with the music in this game, and unfortunately, you don't normally hear all of them. You really don't. Or you don't realize you hear it until you you see it broken up and you hear all the individual channels going. They did such a brilliant job with the soundtrack for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. And that's not just, you know, the, the tracks that the Michael Jackson team worked on, Red Boxer and all that. I mean, like all of these soundtracks. There's so much work put in them. I started watching those, I had a whole new respect for the music in this game, and I already thought it was great. I know I've said this before, but I listen to this stuff in the car. Like, I'll just be driving around, going to work or something, and I got, I got Death Egg Zone or something playing, you know? <laughs> Maybe some ice cap, lava reef, yeah. Just so good. They did such a good job with this. Should be coming up on a bonus ring right here. Again, for anybody joining late, we are playing weird mode, and that is why things don't probably look quite right. At least quite normal, I should say. This is probably the hardest bonus level for me, not because of the positioning these spears, but that red and white absolutely blinds me. By the time I'm done with this level, if I look away from the screen, I'll see red and white squares everywhere. Oh no, it just it messes with you. Yep. But there we go, we've got four of our seven Chaos Emeralds. So we're, we're making some good progress here really are. That's what I call success. Oh shoot. No! I just... okay. But maybe since it was taking a while I could just climb up the wall. But... That was not the wise move. Come on. Oh, interesting. They don't have it, so he can... Oh, this is... I'm gonna have to either go backward... Or I'm gonna have to get this jump just right. To be able to... You know what? It's probably gonna be easier just to go backward. To be entirely honest with you folks. Oh, there's a little hand guy down here anyway. It doesn't matter because he doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't propel me quite enough to... Oh, there we go. And, you know, Knuckles, he has advantages, but he does come with his disadvantages. Jump height. Mm, that, that's one of, one of the downsides. Rotate, you can actually see the whole character there. Kind of neat. Yeah, 
is... I think I can actually. Yeah, Knuckles can climb up here and grab this. Tails, of course, can fly up here if he plays Sonic by himself. I mean, maybe someone's been able to make that jump, but I I can't think of a time I've ever made it with Sonic. I think he's the only one that can't really grab this one unless he's with Tails. Like I said before, if you're playing as Sonic and Tails, or you're playing as Tails, you can get all the emeralds. Like, this would actually be your last one. But if you're playing as just Sonic, or you missed one of them, or you're playing Knuckles, well, you know, you've got Marble Garden. You've got a couple opportunities there. And Carnival Night is just chock full of them. Even Ice Cap's got several. So you don't need to worry. You really don't. Just gotta sit back and enjoy the game. That's what I do. And there we go. We got ourselves another beautiful emerald. Look at that. another knuckles specific routing since sonic can't break walls and neither can tails Ooh, i just you know what i did that i did that that just happened that just happened oh we're all the way back here yeah well really at least it Like I said at the beginning of the stream in Act 2 of Angel Island, usually how well that goes, it kind of just sets the tone for the rest of the stream. I have a feeling this one actually is going to be a little bit bumpy. You know what? I don't buy a bumpy run. It makes it a little more interesting. Dude, look at Knuckles. Just kind of like skating on the water like that. That was actually pretty epic. I love doing that with Knuckles. He's just got the best animation for it. It's really what it is. I did it! I'm, see, I'm trying to rush and I'm getting myself in trouble. I just gotta actually do this normally. And the old uh, haste makes waste kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Hey, on the bright side, we get to listen to this awesome music. Wonder. And that's always a plus. You know, I play this game, you know, for two reasons. Half of it is because I enjoy the levels and everything, and the other half is I love listening to the music. Okay, we're gonna take it slow and not do anything. Uh, hopefully, not do anything dumb here. Rings are kind of your hint on how to proceed. We got our checkpoint. Let's go take on the boss.
Oh my gosh, come on, game. Don't do that. Man. Now, of course, Sonic and Tails, because, well, Sonic has a higher jump and he's got that little temporary shield attack thing that he's got. He can actually get more hits in. Knuckles, however. I wonder if I can... No, I can't glide into those. I wanted to test that. What the hell? That'd be kind of confusing. Nope. No such thing. We got two in there. Little mines need to give you more height. Oh, we got a couple of shots in there. Heck yeah. That's all I'm talking about. Sometimes it's the, the small things. Alright. Darn right, Knuckles got through. Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. Let's see if I can do this one without messing up. Every once in a while, I kind of do some things I regret. Later. So I'm going to try not to do that this time around. So my understanding of how they constructed this bonus level is that you're not actually moving. Your character is technically stationary. It's the tiles underneath him that moves. So it gives you the illusion of movement, but you're not actually moving. Just kind of cool, you know? They did little tricks like that back in the day to simulate things that might have been harder to program. Just like, you know, why does Sonic seem so fast sometimes? Well, they'll do tricks with the camera. You know, they'll have Sonic go flying in a direction and the camera will take a little bit longer to catch up to him. And so it looks like he's going faster than he really is because the camera's lagging behind. Now, of course, doing that also opened up the door for a lot of glitches that people take advantage of to do level wraps and uh, stuff like that, but... See, unfortunately, I grabbed that item box, but eh, you know what, it's not really that big deal. I glitched this last time, and... Yeah, it's, that's a bug. It's just continuously dropping rocks from the ceiling. Kind of surprised that he's doing that. I'm supposed to ride that top up here. Kind of lost it. I could have gone back and made a respawn. It would have been about the same amount.
more in here, and let's get our last emerald. Oh yes, this is sweet. How do I want to proceed? There's the dangerous way that I don't have to do, and then there's the other way. And we'll play it a little safe. Yeah, I've got a bunch of retry tokens, but I'm not trying to really take advantage of those. I guess I ended up doing it this way anyway. All right, there we go. We've got all of our emeralds. So like I said, if you play as Knuckles, you can get them all by, well, Act 1 of Marble Garden. And now we're good until we get into the Sonic and Knuckles part of the game, where we have to collect the Super Emeralds. Very nice of them to throw all those rings at us like that. Whoa. Actually, I don't. I'm not even supposed to be. Yes, yeah, so we are doing a big old circle here. Because of where this dropped us down. What's cool too is some of the music for this game, they have, they creep, what? Okay then, that was interesting. I don't think I've ever done that one before. So that's a, that's a new, that's a new one. Pretty neat. All right, well since we died, Let's take the lower path. Let's go down to the funky town. Whoops! Oh, let's roll to that spike. Super Knuckles doesn't. I guess you have to be Hyper Knuckles to get that jump bonus. Or boost, whatever. Oh, jeez. I needed to come this way anyway. These are little bouncy spike dudes. Those are kind of cool. And we'll pick up another 50 rings from that bonus case. Maybe. I know if you're not super familiar with the game, you're not going to know where all of these bonus rings are, but you can find maps and stuff online where they show you, and that's why I say people don't need to worry about if they, they miss one of them. They're, they throw so many opportunities to get these emeralds at you 
you've got a lot of tries. Even if you're doing classic mode and you can't just restart over and over, you have a lot of tries. And if you beat the game, you can always go back and play through it and all the ring, the bonus rings come back too, so... Don't worry. That would be my advice. Now, of course, the music you're going to hear is going to be a little bit different than what you might hear on some other people's playthroughs, and the reason for that is I have a mod that puts a lot of the original Sega release soundtrack in the game. So that is what you are hearing. And of course, they knew, Knuck Gosh. they knew Knuckles can't jump very high, so they gave us this little thing to help us reach the robot. That was pretty nice of them. There we go. We made it through. I know there's a rumor that the reason why the Michael Jackson tracks aren't in the game is because Michael Jackson didn't like the way that the music sounded on the Sega Genesis. And that was something I heard and I thought you know, it was probably true for a while. And I did some more research into it. And that wasn't something that came from Michael Jackson directly. That was something that came from someone else representing his estate, interestingly enough. And so I kind of suspect that might not actually be accurate. Also, you have to keep in mind, he did have a game called Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and it had his music, like legit his music in it. If you've never seen that game, um, it's, it's interesting. You know, he plays Michael Jackson, and he uses the power of pop music, as I describe it, to defeat zombies and gangsters and birds and various other things as he rescues little girls that are, I don't know, they're all over the place for some reason. I don't know why. They just are. It's a very different game. Not necessarily a bad one, but very different. At first, I think his music sounded fine on the Sega. But I think that game came out before this. I don't... I'd have to go back and look at the dates. So don't quote me on that, but I think Moonwalker came out before... Sonic 3 was being worked on. So, you know, Michael Jackson and his team already would have known what their music would sound like on the chip. So, I suspect the reason why his tracks were kind of scrubbed is maybe there's some licensing stuff there. You know, Sega, maybe they, they didn't have the rights to it. But also, there was the, um, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it on Twitch. They're very touchy, but, you know, there was, it's, eh, but, you know, speaking of being touchy, um, you know, that's what they were accusing Michael Jackson of being. So, yeah, I don't know. That whole thing, I don't know. It's, it was very strange to me. But... I suspect they wanted to separate themselves from him and his team just to, to not be tied in with that. I could be wrong, but that would make sense, and that's kind of what companies and just organizations in general tend to do. If somebody gets into some kind of serious trouble, especially like what Michael Jackson was being accused of, they cut those ties real quick because they don't want that reflecting on their company. And you see this kind of stuff happen, you know, pretty, pretty often, really. Uh-oh. 
No! I can't. I can't. I gotta go up. We're moving up like the Jeffersons. But that's the thing, this game has a lot of really interesting history. A lot of real interesting history. Just like Sonic 3 Knuckles, it was all meant to be one game originally. But it... I don't know if I... I think I can do this one. But I guess there was some kind of McDonald's promotion, and I think Sega also wanted them to like, make some money off of what they'd been working on. And so things kind of got pushed. At least from what I can tell. But I've looked into it. So, they split it in half. Oh my gosh. Come on, why is the camera not able to keep up? Come on, Come on man. Like how I'm just wasting my rings now at this point. No, I don't like this. Oh no. I swear, if I get Robotnik's. Alright. This is probably my least favorite goalpost bonus stage. Just, you know, you can, you can stand to gain a lot from it. Don't get me wrong, but with my luck, I always lose my rings. Robotnik just shows up three times, and that's GG. That jackpot always eludes me. So unless I've got absolutely nothing, I don't even like to mess with it. Alright. Here we go. Come here. And of course, Knuckles' fight here is very different than what Sonic and Tails get. Tails isn't really working with Knuckles, of course, because they're not exactly getting along. So Duckles has this little thing. Now, of course, this is one of the tracks that Michael Jackson and his team put together. Personally, I like this one a lot more. A lot, a lot more than the one that Sega created. And I get that as a work of music, the way that it was kind of put together, there's a lot of really cool and well done things, but as far as something worth listening to, I'll take this over that annoying crap, especially for the Act 1 music for this zone. It's terrible. It really... It's not exactly a banger. Oh, I totally... Wow, I almost got squished, too. That would have been an insult on the injury. I don't like these bats. They chase you forever. They go through walls and everything. They're just evil. They're evil little bats. They drive me batty. Eh, you know what? We'll just go. We're gonna play it somewhat safe. We're already at the boss. I transformed at the right time, I get to keep the music sweet. This fight's a little bit more annoying in this version of the game compared to the original Genesis release, and I think part of that has to do with the screen size. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Because sometimes it'll do this and it won't, it just won't touch that guy. 
I'm gonna lose most of the platforms at this rate. I got a hole in the floor now. Come on. We got a. Oh, they got a big hole in the floor over there now. Oh my gosh. And what? Oh, I ran out of. All right, all right. See, it just it took so long for that. Boy, that fight's usually done within seconds. In the original Genesis version, do they even give me any rings? They don't give me any rings. Oh, to joy. All right. And of course you can't grab onto the walls here. That's just not in the cards for us. Maybe I can get lucky and trap this. No, 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 don't kill me. No! Oh, the spike on the end got me. I think they did some things too in this version of the game that makes it easier to die. Like hitboxes or, or something for the characters are very different. I notice, though that wasn't me getting squished, I do notice that I get squished a lot in this version of the game. And right there you saw the little spikes on the spinning thing kind of nail me. Just chipping away at the entire. All right. I mean, look how much of the platform it took away already, and <laughs> it's not even half dead. I don't think, or it's just at the halfway mark. All right, never mind. I, I lied. We were a bit further than I thought, but still, right? You would not have had that in the original. I can. Well, if you were hitting the thing like I was and making it vulnerable. You know, it's just a it's just a difference that you know, me being a long time player of the actual Sega Genesis version, I notice it. And even some of the remakes, you know, that wasn't the issue, but I think I think it's the dimensions of the screen that largely are responsible for that fight. It's almost like it needed to be kind of redesigned almost. Besides them just adding more space. Okay. Oh, I was thinking I was gonna bounce off the... His back there, but it didn't work. Now, of course, the legendary Barrel of Doom does not feature Knuckles' playthrough of this map. So, we don't have to visit that. And bring back, you know, terrible childhood memories for some. Jeez. I love those. Bo -bo 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 -bo. If you do it at the right time to like when the music's got some downtime, it's like adding something to the music. There we go. <laughs> There's not even Knuckles doesn't even get a boss for this. He doesn't. He just gets teleported. That's it. That is literally it. We are at Ice Gap so. And Knuckles isn't much of a skateboarder, so we just kind of teleport in there. Again, I just love my Sonic trivia stuff, but... Of course, if you listen to this song... And you like Ice Cap Zone, I would challenge you to go to YouTube and look up a song called Hard Times by the Jetsons. J T Z O N S. 
because this level music is literally that song. Like, as soon as you hear it, you're going to be like, that's Ice Cap song. What the heck? So I guess you could say that maybe uh, this, this song was meant to have lyrics. Because it was actually meant to be a, a song for that. So since we have the shield... Oh, okay. Eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm not really sure, because I always look at the backgrounds, I'm not sure everything that's going on, because there's like these dish looking things that show up back there. But I could have probably flown over them, but with my luck, the way it's been going today, I probably would have gotten shanked by one of those lovely icicles, so... Uh, you know what? Uh, we're just... Yeah, like, what is that round thing in the background that's changing colors? I don't... I don't know. I'm curious about that. But I do know if I'm not careful, I'm gonna have some hard times that hidden little spring there. Oh no! You got me. You got me. You doity rat. You got me. I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way. things all over the place. Uh-oh, my blue jays are begging for food. I don't know if that came through the mic or not, but... Yeah, what are you gonna do, buddy? Do-do-do-do-do! one of these days I'm just gonna fly through my window. I'm just not even gonna be worried about it. I think there's something down here if I recall correctly. Yes, there is. So here's another bonus ring. Probably a lot of people don't know about it. And that is the strongest yellow spring ever in the history of Sonic. I'm pretty sure. It's that thing. Are you kidding me? You got me. You got me. You're back already, you hungry little bird. I could. No, I'm not getting frozen again, gosh darn it. Probably could have climbed up there, but. I'm just gonna kinda this way. Now the levels that, because Brett Boxer, I guess, he was the keyboarder for the Jetsons as well as for Michael Jackson's team, or he was one of them anyway. He had this tendency to kind of, I don't really want to call it a lazy approach, but it kind of is. They just removed an instrument from the Act 2 remix instead of really changing the song up a whole lot. 
mean, it works. I think the music still sounds good, you know, in spite of that being all he did a lot of times, but... some goodies there. Oh my goodness. Forgot about this balance. so many rooms up here. And I think there's also one of those guys. Yep. I don't think we're going to hit the big 200 here, but hey, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, the egg froster. We're just going to take the easy route here. by going super. You see the little chunks of ice floating in the background. That's kind of neat. See the glaciers. Okay, we're gonna wrap up the Sonic 3 portion of the game here with the launch base, so... So I'll admit that I don't like playing his Knuckles for this one, because I don't like his Act 2. I really don't. And really, his boss at the end of Act 1 here is kind of... It's not bad, but it's a little on the annoying side. Again, this is the... Track they ended up actually going with for the game's release. Which I think is a lot better than dun da 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 Like, what the heck is that? You know, if this was Sonic 3, this would literally be the last level, and that's that's the music they gave it. It should sound different. I mean, the Act 2 in the original, you know, wasn't as terrible, kind of, but it just... I don't know. I don't care for it. But it's all preference at the end of the day. That's why we have this wonderful ability to mod games and change the music in them. Super whenever we feel like it. Those little metal guys are annoying. Tell you that right. You just hear that go, go, go in the background there. There's a lot of sampling that went on. Oh no! The frog hit me. No, I don't like this one. We're gonna leave. Not losing my rings. Too terrible RNG. That is definitely not my favorite ring. I 
I'm just gonna wait for it to come down. I just need to kill it. Yeah, when you're super, there's two things that'll kill you. Falling to your death, or getting squished. Yeah, I wasn't about to get squished. Actually, oh no, I fell into it. Well, whatever. It's not bad. Okay, this one's I do miss having tails to help me pick up shields and stuff. Eh. He's also good at grabbing the rings. He can't get you shields, but he can get you rings. Shield's okay. Anything's better than nothing. I'm just gonna have Knuckles climb here. I guess we have been going for about an hour, so the timing's about right. That's even with a couple of deaths under my belt and a little bit of just kind of screwing around. We're making pretty good time. Usually I'm around three hours to play through this game, although Knuckles is going to be a bit shorter. Just a hair. Whoops. Don't goof. But yeah, I don't like Knuckles' version of Act 2 because there's underwater stuff. And it's no Hydro City. Dude, these lightning shields. I don't want those in a water level. Oh, maybe a bubble shield. I mean, I'll take rings, too. I'm gonna lose that shield. Oh, no! The thing repaired. Oh, no. I would've had it. Well, you know what they say, you can't win them all. And they weren't lying when they said it. Bam. 
me, we still have our shield, so that's not really useful. Let's see if I can... Oh my gosh, Knuckles. Yeah, still. Oof. I'm doing the best. Oh, I can't do that. That's right. Well. GG. It kept me from breaking things. Oh my god, they love giving me this bonus level. This is exactly why... Oh. Oh. Do you see how close I was? Oh my god. Almost had the three botnicks. Yo, give me a jackpot. Give me a jackpot. Uh, I'm not sure. See, like, you are most of the time going to end up with a bunch of robotics. It's like every real robot. It's a rigged game, I tell you. Just like a real casino. See, I get jumped. I ended up worse than what I started out with. Oh! Oh, this little guy waiting patiently for his peanut. Poor Blue Jay. He's just looking at me. Like, what are you doing? I'm, I want food. I don't have the little temporary shield that Sonic does, so I can't entirely do the little continuous hit trick with people. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, just come down here. Oop. Are you kidding me? How did I overshoot that? Oh my god. You know... <laughs> I told you this is probably gonna be a bumpy playthrough. I wasn't lying. You know how to how to read the cards. Oh my gosh, you know what? Like Alright, fine. I won't glide till you. I'll jump on you. Good, it's great. This one's not too bad with knuckles, because you can just glide right into them and hit them. Of course, you want to glide at the top of your jump, but, you know. I'm gonna try something stupid. No, it won't let me do that either. I guess you really do have to... Take it normally. Oh my god, how did I not hit him? What? I demand a recount. That prolonged this. Yeah. I need one more hit on him and I would have had it if I didn't screw that one. You actually probably could step in front of him something. I just got an idea to try for next time. Alright, so... Come on! There we go. Knuckles got through. Act 2. And of course, Knuckles gets bombed again. <clears throat> and he just he just falls. At least he can glide, so it's not a big deal, right? Although he's still kind of just falling and lands on the butt there, but yeah. You know. We don't question that. We just don't. Okay. That never happened. And here we lose all of our Chaos Emeralds. At least for now. Because they become super emeralds. And we'll start with this guy right here at the entrance. Yeah, I'm going to right now. 
if you're trying to go for a perfect, you want to keep one of these clusters together, and one's right next to the other, you just have to hit that yellow bouncy ball thing. But I'm not going for a perfect. I couldn't care less. There's no continuations in this mode, and that's the only reason, really, why you'd do it unless you're trying to show off to your friends. these last eight. Should be like another one of those hanging around. Bam! And there we go, our first Super Emerald. I like how they look. They're so cool looking. your cards right not so if you were playing Sonic and Knuckles this is like actually where you started right here like back here you didn't get the bonus stage though but you'd start out here For those of you who never got to play Sonic and Knuckles by itself just one of those fun I think the first time I played this game, I actually played as Knuckles, even. I just thought it was more interesting than Sonic, in general. I'd say Sonic's not a good character to play as in this game, he is, but, you know. Back in the day. Oh no, he threw a mushroom that goes through the entire stage. That's really impressive. So you might be wondering, why am I doing what I'm doing right now? It's because I want to grab this little guy here. So Knuckles has the disadvantage early on with the way that his rings, bonus rings, are placed. In this version, or excuse me, this half of the game, he has the advantage. Because he gets that extra one that Sonic can't get to, unless, of course, you're going to cheat and go into debug mode. That's what I used to do, actually, back in the day. I'd turn on debug mode, and I'd just go grab all of them, and I'd definitely have all of them by Hydro City, and I'd definitely have them all by the end of Mushroom Hill Zone, because that's the other thing. You can get all these emeralds by the end of Mushroom Hill Zone. It's pretty cool. I think Knuckles even gets an extra bonus ring in Mushroom Hill, too, if I'm not mistaken. That or he breaks even with his path-specific one. But of course, if you don't get them all, it's not the end of the world. You can just kind of... Oh no, I don't want that guy messing with me. But yeah, it's not the end of the world. You can always just kind of pick them up later on, because you'll have plenty of opportunities. I mean, yeah, you'll have plenty of opportunity. Use these things to get the book. Woo! That mushroom. Okay, so my next bonus ring, I do believe, is going to be up top here. Yeah. After this, uh, 
Oh, yep, he's down here. Kaboom. Let's grab this one. There we go, we just bagged another Super Emerald. We've got three. And we're gonna get two more, I think, here before the end of the level. That's what I'm talking about. You can just kind of bang these things out. It's awesome. I can't wait till the DLC comes out for this game. Oh my god, I am... <laughs> I am so hyped for it. You know, the Game Gear games... I mean, I played... I think one of them. I think it was Triple Trouble. And, I mean, it's a Game Gear game. It plays the way that it does. You know, it's the quality that it is. You know, whatever. Uh, but... Oops! Here's our next bonus ring! But I'm really looking forward to playing as Amy Rose. As crazy as that might sound, I'm really looking forward to that. I want to see how they do stuff. I hope she has lots of hammer attacks. And I think that'll really add variety. Not just to the, the gameplay for just the standard games, but also... Boss Rush might be interesting too. The hammer, depending on how they do it. I know she's been in some of the Sonic Advance games. I know the move sets they gave her there. I don't know what she would be like though when they add her here. I hope it's not just like a reskin of Sonic. I hope they actually make her unique. But we'll see. We'll see what we get. I love that emerald. That's Awesome. So if I don't screw up, I should be able to get one more of these bad boys before we get to the woodcutter mini boss. Oh yeah, there's a thing up there. Hey, you know, I'm not even gonna bother with that. All right, when you get here, of course you'll be traveling the other way around because I'm playing mirror. Unless you're playing mirror mode too. You just come down here. Ah, oh, you stupid mushroom guy. I hate you. All right, it's okay. My rings weren't gonna do me any good anyway. This one. I don't know, I did all the easy ones. So now I'm left with the others. But we'll be fine. I got this. I got you. Like I said, you can really bag these guys. And there we go, we just got ourselves our fifth emerald. We only have two more to go. That looks like the last one we got, what the heck? Like, color-wise. 
Is that a glitch? So you gotta let him cut that first log. Maybe even... Oh, shit. You know what? I already lost my rings. I got... Yeah. You kinda don't have anything to worry about once you lose your rings there. It's like, eh, okay, whatever. Oh my god. No! Uh, I was I just missed it. I think each of those trees there's an item box under. Yeah, well, it's not a big. So of course the starting here is gonna be a little bit different than what Sonic gets. He gets stuck here. And Knuckles sends him way up high, but Sonic can't actually come back down here if he wants. He just might not. Knuckles breaks a couple of walls, because that's what he does. Trying to think here... I think he would... yeah, he would... Alright, yeah, so we're gonna do... whoops! That was an unintentional move I did there. There's a trap there on the floor. I don't know if you can see it, but alright, he just blew me into it. You darn bird thing. I think Sonic does actually get a bonus stage early ish on there. Those mushroom dudes, let me tell you, they are bad news. If I come up here, there is a bonus ring. I don't know, maybe... I think Knuckles can backtrack and get to Sonic's bonus stage ring at the beginning there. I'm not going to bother with it because I'll be entirely honest with you, there's no reason to. I know where I can hit at least two more without really any effort. And once I get this, I only need one more, and actually the last one's guaranteed. It's right before the boss. So we're doing fine. We are going to have these emeralds by the end of Mushroom Hills can take that to the bank. And there we go. Yet another... Yet another emerald. just got that last one on the far right. And then we have them all. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I actually want to go a little lower. I don't want to be... yeah. This is where I want to go. We gotta go down, down to Goblin. You know what? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no oh no, Knuckles definitely has the advantage here too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I forgot about that one actually. <laughs> There's another one down below too. 
Knuckles gets all of them. I mean, all of them. See, every once in a while I forget something to do, and then I remember when I play the game, I'm like, oh yeah, that thing. I forgot about that. It happens. You did have things, it did things. There's... Okay, there's that. Come but... on, oh, I need some more speed. playing tricks on me, I thought I saw something. Where is these last six? I know you're here somewhere. Now Knuckles can be Hyper Knuckles. to go up here. Right, cool. So down here, very, oh my gosh. I think there's a thing. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's a mushroom down here. But yeah, here's another one. <laughs> if you still need one, there's one right there. And then the last one right before the boss is right here. So like I said, you got plenty of opportunity, especially as Knuckles, to get all these emeralds. You know, if you're experienced, there's really no reason to not have it if you're, you know, going for it by this point. Yeah. We're just gonna bully him. Boom. Look how easy that was. The egg scrambler has been scrambled. So a little bit of, I guess, trivia here. I guess in the prototype version of the game, Flying Battery Zone, which is coming up next, was actually supposed to be between Carnival Night Zone and ice cap zone. 
but because they had to release half the game early, they kind of changed things up. Oh, I was gonna try- I always forget. I wanted to try that one thing. Oh, whatever. Definitely like this. I don't know, I like most of the soundtracks in this game. I think the only thing that I'm not particularly super happy with is Sandopolis. And I think Sandopolis is very fitting, but it's not a track I'd want to just sit there and listen to. That makes sense. And honestly, I just don't like Sandopolis in general, so I hear that music, I probably think about Sandopolis Zone, and then that's it. Not that crap. Fly over that, it just releases a bunch of robots. Deal with. Oh my gosh. Nice. So apparently, with the mod, it's a little bit broken. Knuckles is. Music doesn't always play over the level. And you know what? I'm fine. Wait. No, he didn't. Oh, it didn't actually transform me. That's weird. That's really weird. Well, I guess that's a better explanation of what happened then. No, what? Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. It just shot me on the way back there. Come on. Oops, Knuckles, you gotta stand still, buddy. Actually, if I... Yeah, because it... Wow, that's so weird. That should not be that way. It doesn't even curve off to the right if you look at that little slope there, so I don't know why it does that. That's... Oh. I wonder how many people got stuck there. That's something I figured out, but I was one of those people that struggled with the barrel. It's kind of weird that they had a built-in mechanic to make the player wait. Especially since it's a Sonic game, but that is actually what they did here. Go figure, right? Oh no! I know this boss took me a little bit of time to figure out. Back in the day. It didn't take me too long, though. It did take me a little bit. Now for Act 2. Kinda surprised it gave me that hit, to be honest. I should have just got the flame.
I don't usually like going down to the bottom. Oh, crap, that's right, I can't do that. I have to actually do that. Alright. I think it was pretty cool how in Mania they made it that if you had the electric shield, it made you stick to the ceiling there. Not actually. Oh, I don't want to step on it and then that would kind of mess me up. Because it will. No. Goodbye, shield. I like these little things here. Now in some areas, I didn't really get to any of them, but those spikes, there'll be a little block of spikes by themselves, and you can actually push them, and then you open up a hole that you can drop down, and that'll give you a bonus stage. If you take the pathing path I took, though, you're not really going to run into those. So if you still need your emeralds, keep that in mind. Don't stay as far up as you can not going to get you your bonus rings. Now here you can climb up and if your tail is of course you can get up there easy. I like how the, the whole screen shape. Now of course we can't touch this. Can't touch it. But it kind of blows up itself after a few of these, so. It's got one or two more in it. Oh, I guess there's one more. In the original Genesis version, this would be glitched, and you could actually see clouds kind of phase through. Oh my god, not this level. Why? It's funny because the last time I played through, I kept getting the glowing spheres one, which is actually the one I like. But this time around, man, I'll tell you what, it wants to give me this one. Of course, Knuckles can just climb up here and wait. Even in the boss rush, I'm kind of surprised it makes you do this whole thing. I think it's a little much. Now, if you time it just right, you can actually get an extra hit when he comes down. So for those of you who are interested in the boss rush, or you just don't have all your emeralds, you can take advantage of that pretty easy. No, my beautiful rings. Look at that. We're just flying through this. Now. 
And the thing is, we're actually almost done with this game. Because once we get through Sandopolis, we're on the last stretch. So I think out of all the zones in this game, Sandopolis is probably my least favorite. I'll go down this way. There was an item up there, but... That push animation does not look like a push to me, but uh, you know what? Whatever, oh my gosh, come on. Alright. Oh, that's dirty. That sand stopped me. Oh, we got a bonus ring. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Might seem a little early for it, but... What the heck? I actually didn't even need to go that way. I don't know why it kind of... Yeah, that's right, you go up here. Somebody is jamming out there. First time running into this guy, it took me a little bit of time to figure it out, too. Eventually, I did. a couple of ways you can just lead him in here and then you can kind of stay over here and he'll jump in chasing you or if you want to be a little bit faster about it oops didn't want to do that. i didn't think it was gonna reach up to him once he gets toward the edge you can just kind of like tap him in 
But I kind of did things a little early there. I messed myself up. That's fine, though. We beat him. And here's for the act that I like the least. Now, this is interesting because it starts off with the ghosts. Are you kidding me? I had to wait for that thing to move. They got their freebie on me. They got their freebie. That's fine. What are you gonna do, right? That's where the ghosts are. And so, since that's open, I can only assume the reason the ghosts are kind of free and causing havoc now is because Sonic and Tails have already come through this area. And I find that to be a bit odd considering that Knuckles always seems to be ahead of them, but... Oh my god, I hate those things. Ugh. Actually, this is where I even need to be technically, but I'll get myself some rings because. Well, why the heck not, right? We're gonna do this. Oh my god, I just squeaked through. The luck of that. The luck. And as slow and kind of cruddy as this level can be, at least it's got its fast moments. I will say that. Could do the sand. I'm gonna see if we can actually get through without activating the sand. I think, I think we're good for it. Really, I think Sonic's the only one that needs it if he's not with Tails. Climb, climb, climb. Yep. Cause even Knuckles is good there. That's what I was thinking. I could have gone on the right and grabbed some stuff. I just don't care. Fast as I can get out of this level, the better. Boom. 
Hit that like, get rid of the old ghosts, jump down this hole. No, you're not touching me. Knuckles, of course, can get through here. Because he breaks walls. Oh, gosh darn it. Why did I do that? Well, I'm gonna activate this, at least for now. No! Are you kidding me? Alright. I finally turn on Super and the game is like, No! No, you don't get it. Go away. I didn't even get a goal post. That is the biggest oof ever. So that's what I mean. They just made it so easy to get squished in this game. This version of it, anyway. It's kind of annoying. But hey, what you gonna do, right? What you gonna do? The only thing that sucks is now I gotta go through that entire gauntlet again. Oh, let's just do this. I'm gonna transform up. Oh. Alright, so we'll hopefully remember the lessons of last time. Not do things that'll get me murdered. Switch first. That thing tries to bring you back up because it's just there to be annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you have like no time to. There's a trick to this. Oh my gosh, Knuckles, why are you falling? I guess I'll get the shield. Yeah, I don't see how I'm supposed to keep that from... Like, that's just, it's so fast. I think I'm supposed to be able to do something. I don't remember what. I think it has to do with this block, but I could be wrong. Can't be. I mean, by the time you jump over that thing, like, it's already... <laughs> I can't even try to queue up a speed dash. Alright, how do I get past this? Is that so quick. You know what? 
It's probably... Yeah, it's one time you do have to use the sand. What the... Oh, oh, that's right. Now I remember. Okay. Yes, the block. Now I can push it over. Been a while since I've taken this path in my bag. Yeah, this block keeps it. Which is funny because as soon as you get off screen, it actually despawns the block and then it starts to shut. Oh my gosh. I'm not careful. This is gonna be GG. Yeah, I'll have to do the whole. Okay, we got a we got a checkpoint. We are good. Ooh, I was good right there. All right, so we're gonna have to fight this guy normal. Not a huge deal. It's kind of an annoying. Whoopsie daisy. Alright, we beat him. Now we're on the final stretch here. The last leg of our journey with Knuckles. Because he has a much shorter game. Since he doesn't go to Sky Sanctuary Zone, he doesn't go to Death Egg Zone. This is it, folks. Lava Reef. Last thing to get through. Oh, I thought maybe there would be something up there, but no. I wonder if you could actually get this. I don't think I've ever tried. Probably not. It's probably just a block. You know, I bet you. We wanted to be dumb. Oh, if you go off the. Okay, he just despawns. Here, I was trying to be clever. I'm so bad at holding on to my rings with that. Good at losing them. Bad at keeping them. That's it. We don't need no stinking rings. I don't really need that box. And yeah, the projectiles like this. Like those fireballs, they just go on forever. Oh my gosh, that timing. That was mean. If I had a shield, it would have been At this point, I'm just trying to get through it, so I'm not being as careful as maybe I normally would. Oh! Hey. That wasn't nice. Okay. Well, I got a shield. I don't know why you would have a... water shield here, but... It was better than nothing until I lost it. Oh my gosh. Everything that can damage me is hitting me right now. Oh, I guess we're here already. Jeez. I did make that quick, didn't I? Well, 
What a handy little robot that is. Really? Couldn't even see that shot. The only thing that actually matters there anyway, but and you're gonna beat the hand when you beat the hand. This is probably my favorite zone out of all of them. Both the look, the fire that kills you right at the beginning. Oh man, this is. I have been doing so bad today. But I guess if it was a normal playthrough and everything went right, it was just quick and easy, it wouldn't be that interesting. Gotta have those rough ones now. Of course, Knuckles goes through here, he gets his tube system, but yeah, I like the music for this, I like the way it looks, and I like, especially playing as Knuckles on here, because he's got his little tunnel systems and things, it's just kind of cool. I like the idea that, you know, the lava cold off, and you just kind of... Traveling through. I think this is the first time this entire playthrough I've gotten this. This is my favorite one. This is my favorite one, and I was not getting it. It's actually pretty unhappy about it. In my opinion, this was the best bonus stage. Let's go up here and... I mean, if you needed lives, you can get them for days. I was hoping to get rings, but... Eh, I'm not gonna really be able to go for it. Eh, it was just a... bouncer thing. kind of hung around for a while. That was weird. Get a bunch of rooms here. And of course, that's where Sonic would get knocked down and have to run from that thing that shoots missiles. Knuckles just kind of keeps going, but that's the end there. 
that's yeah, that's right. If you're transformed and you come through here, it keeps playing the music instead of restarting it like it's supposed to. And this goes to the final boss. So yes, we technically go to Sky Sanctuary Zone, but it's not what you're thinking. We have to let him grab us. Metal Sonic's gonna show up and try to murder us. Fortunately, Knuckles gets away just in time. Oops. Oh my god. Alright. I'm... I'm... Uh, without this ring, well, at least one ring, this is gonna be kind of... I might die here. Trying to remember. There's a spacing thing here I have to keep in mind. No! Okay, you know, that's fine. I am okay with that. Just pick me up. There we go. Yeah, we'd probably have gotten under two hours had I not been dying as much as I have. Gosh darn it. I tried to back off of him, but I didn't quite make it. I don't even know why that hurt me, actually. Oh well. It is what it is. So I think you want to keep some distance so he shoots at you. Uh, oh my god. I just cannot today. I don't know what it is. But you want to dodge those and he gets up here and you gotta jump on him. You can get two hits on him. If you go for anything more than that, you're really risking it. And if you get too close, he does one of those. Ooh, he's gonna... He's being a little... Oh, are you kidding me? Man, I just can't win for losing right now. been such a rough road. We're gonna win. But... Things... There, if we did that, that went perfectly. I like how Knuckles just kind of sits there and lets him jump on the mass grab mode. Do that. That's not nice. Oh my goodness. He's not doing the things he's supposed to do. Yeah, you can. I guess I kind of was wrong. You can get four on him, I think. That ring. He's got like one hit left. So if you don't finish him off in a hurry, he does that. You just have to hit him in between doing those moves. Alright, that's the end of the game. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, I don't know why that was giving me so much trouble this time. That usually goes a lot smoother. But hey, it is what it is. We still do. We went, we got all of our emeralds. We made our way through all the acts. Ultimately taking on Metal Sonic as the final boss. You know, I don't know why Knuckles' playthrough is entirely the way he is. Maybe it was time constraints or something. I don't know. But, you know, he doesn't get the epic boss fight that Sonic does. He doesn't get to go onto the Death Egg. And, you know, maybe. Maybe that's fine and good too. Because Knuckles' entire purpose is to protect that emerald. He doesn't. He's not worried about going and defeating Robotnik. He just wants to protect the Master Emerald. And that's what he does here. So. You know, it makes sense. But it also makes for a much shorter play. Like I said, if I hadn't kept dying and had some of the screw-ups that I had, we would have been done and probably at or just under two hours, but you know, some things happen. And that's just how it goes sometimes. That's fine. So. For those of you that watch this on Twitch later, I hope you enjoy it, and I guess until next time, everyone, take care. Hope you have a great rest of your day. But for now, this is Agent Ice, signing off.